Hey Virgo, this is your September 2021 reading. I have cleared the energies, we have prayed, we have saged. Let me light this one more time, Virgo. How's my Virgos doing? The reason why I have not, I have been MIA. I moved from my home state of West Virginia to New York City. New York City? Yeah. Yeah, I'm a New Yorker now. All right? Yeah, big stuff. So what I'm doing is clearing the energies. I'm in a new space now, so I've got to get it right. You know what I'm saying? So, let's call on your angels, spirit guides, ancestors, sacred ones of Virgo. I call on you and I welcome you here now. What guidance do you have for my beautiful Virgos? I'm a Virgo Venus, by the way. Um, what guidance do you have for my Virgos? Let's go. I'm going to um, read the energy. I'm just going to freehand it. I'm not going to actually do a spread per se unless spirit guides me to do it. Okay. I'm just going for it. All right. All right. Thank you, spirit. One thing about this beautiful <laughs> tablecloth, <laughs> um, it really captures the cards. Like it's hard for me to get. It's pretty, but it holds the cards. You know what I mean? Thank you, spirit. Let's wake these cards up. My babies have not looked. Look at that. You got the one of earth here or the ace of pentacles. It's already coming through, guys. Already coming through. What messages do you have for Virgo for September 2021? Thank you for tuning in, Virgo. This is a collective reading. Yeah, let me do a disclaimer. Y'all already know this is a collective reading, so if it's not for you, then, you know, don't accept it, okay? There's a lot of people out here, they just see these tarot readings as gospel, and they don't realize you are the creator and master of your universe. And you could just see these as blessings, warnings, whatever. To me, it's fun. I like it, especially when they nail your life. You know what I mean? Okay. All right. Okay. Virgo. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, Virgo. Okay. Under deck energy, you have the Knight of Wands. Okay. So, Sagittarius energy. Passionate, confident, charismatic, restless. Events requiring immediate action. Trust your instincts. Stay focused. A passionate relationship. We'll see how your September is going, Virgo. All right. So <clears throat> in the past, you had the Nine of Wands. Um, this is you just battling and just trying to stay focused and staying towards your goals, not letting anything get in your way. Protecting what you've created, um, environmental activism and animal rights. I know a Virgo that's like that. My, well, I know a lot of Virgos like that. You also had the Four of Cups as a past energy. And um, that is where you guys are upset about an emotional situation you are in. It may have been a job that did not work out or an opportunity. But like I always tell you guys... Always be appreciative because the universe is literally giving you another offer. So um, just, just be mindful, okay? That was past energy, so don't worry about it. Nine of Cups, though. See, there goes that cup. <laughs> um, wish Fulfillment, the Wish card, the Lotto card. I love this card, Nine of Cups. So, yeah, your dreams become reality. Faith in the universe that all will be well. Just because something may have not worked out in the past, the universe let you know that everything's going to be okay. All right? Presently, you are the um, hanged man. This is the awakening card. A temporary pause for reflection and insight. Um, you're seeing things in a whole new light, and you're embracing your own uniqueness, Virgo. Awesome. Also, you have the Ace of Wands coming in, okay? 
So an amazing opportunity. Um, the Ace of Wands also stands for like the phallic symbol. So you could either have something passionate about to pop up on you guys, or you could be getting in a hot, sexy, sexy relationship. Or the set or your relationship you're in, for some of you, getting sexier. Mm -hmm. Amazing opportunity. Be bold, be courageous and optimistic. Now is the time to take action. Do what you're passionate about. And then you have the Knight of Swords, my loves. All right. Um, this is Gemini energy and um, decisive, focused, driven, defensive um, events that move with great speed. Choose intellectual responses to challenges rather than emotional. That's how you guys usually operate anyway. Um, review your options carefully, sudden or unexpected changes. Okay. So that's the present. That's how you're going into September. You guys are about the shits. Let me tell you. Boom. And then future <laughs> coming to you in September. The nine of pentacles, the bad bitch energy. Okay. So yes, enjoying the fruits of your labors, the hard work that has led to a luxurious life, Virgo. Buying yourself something special, happily and successfully self-employed and enjoying your solitude. That's, if that's not a Virgo card, I don't know what is. You also have the magician. You're manifesting your life. You're manifesting what you want. Please. Cross watchers, take note of Virgo. They do not give up. They are resilient, beautiful energies. And I absolutely love Virgo so, so much. Magic is alive in your life. What you need to be success will manifest. And if you believe it, you can do it, Virgo. And this is where some of you will cuss me out, and that's fine. But you also have <laughs> the Knight of Cups coming through. So a little Pisces energy coming through. But yeah, um, someone is coming towards you to offer you a cup of something emotional, romantic, flirtatious, introspective. I love these tarot cards because they're basically oracle cards. Um, <clears throat> sorry, I've been very sick too, so you want to hear me do that a lot. I'm so sorry. Being swept off your feet, falling in love, a sudden sassy love affair. Oh, get it, Virgo. And I'm a Virgo Venus, so I will take that reading for myself if y'all don't want it. Because sister needs some. Situations or topics that make your heart flutter. Oh, you got this sexy, sexy man coming towards you. Or woman. This is, you know, gender neutral. These are energies. They're not actually genders. Okay, so let's see what's going on. Some of you are um, sick of, okay, you've been in a relationship reading. You've just been fighting really, really hard to defend yourself, to defend your relationship, to keep it alive. Um, some of it didn't work out. You're upset about it. You're not happy about it. You really emotionally invested in that person and it did not work out. But again, like the universe has given you options because even though you love that person, Virgo, the universe knew what was best for you. And when you walk away from something that is literally killing you from the inside out, you opened your energy to beautiful, magical blessings. Okay. And now you're seeing things from a different light. You realize you were in a shitty relationship. Oh God, here comes the phallic, some hot, sassy passion coming towards you, but make sure you heal first Virgo. Some of you may have already healed. That's why it's a past energy. Okay. I'm proud of you for that. I'm still working on it. Um, someone wants to communicate with you. Um, not really feeling an X in this one. It's definitely a new energy. Keep your, but you're about your coin though. You're about your Virgo. You're about your money. You're like, look, I'm a single person now. I'm just worried about my money and I'm manifesting it. But even though you're about, you know, your coin, about your wallet, about your bank, about living your best life, Virgo, <laughs> love is still coming. I'm sorry. It goes from, hey, I want to holla to, hey, I want to boo you up. You see what I'm saying? All right. Let's see. I don't even need to do it clarifying for these. That's amazing. Let's see what... The angels, spirit guides, and ancestors have to say. Thank you, spirit. Look, they're already splitting. Come on, guys. Look at that. Y'all always get this one. See how I split? Look. 
thing. Oh yeah, this one right here. Unleash the round Raffine Virgo she wolf. You know y'all nasty. You know you're basically Scorpios. I don't even know why y'all playing. They call y'all the virgins. I laugh. Hill areas. I have not. I mean, all the Virgos I know are, look, look. They ready. They ready. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, 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 spirit, okay. Angel, spirit guide, ancestors, sacred ones. What messages do you have for Virgo for September 2021? And then I will pull a divine power affirmation for you guys. Thank you, spirit. Okay. What's going on here? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. So you got stand your ground, which you'll have no problem doing that. Like I said, make sure you heal. OK, um, if you do have a so-called ex coming towards you again, stand your ground. We don't want to go backwards, do we, Virgo? And then you also got drum dream your journey, which is what you're doing with the magician card. OK, you guys are already doing what you need to do. Let's see if we give you one more. That's amazing because I'm going to show you how this came out. This came out in this row with the battle. Holy shit, I'm over it. I'm the baddest bitch to do it. Okay, y'all went there and you got to stand your ground. You stood your ground, Virgo, and guess what happened? You won. Then you have dream your journey, right? Or dream and journey. So that is coming out in the four cups. Face of Wands, <laughs> Magician, okay? So I want to see, because you got all this lovey-dovey at the bottom row, right? Past, present, future type stuff. So, um, yeah, I see how this is panning out. This is definitely maybe not just relationship related. I'm reading energies that it could be work related. Like I said, something, you know, fighting for your job and then you realize oh, that's just not worth it. I need to make more money or start my own business, right? So let's see what this one, because this is the romance bottom right here, okay? <laughs> Past, present, future, let's see. I'm excited. Oh, God, this is hilarious. You can't make this shit up. So with the romance sassy time, you got Fire Guardian, and this is Ignite Your Passions. Now, this is the angel that's all about the sacral, the sex, the passion, Fire Angel, Fire Guardian, that inner Kundalini, that hot passion, that serpent energy you got coiled up down there at the bottom of your spine. <laughs> this readings went too long. Let me do a divine power affirmation. I know some of you may not want sassy time, but universe has plans for you guys okay like i said if you're in a relationship it's going to get better it's going to get better if you just came out of a horrible relationship <laughs> it's going to get even better than that thank you spirit angel spirit guide ancestors sacred ones of for okay they gave you three we have rain and love Ooh. I choose to step into my divine power. I am a queen slash king here to reign in love. I have never seen this one, guys. I have never seen this one. I'm going to put this here. Second one. I breathe in my strength and I exhale all the bullshit. Okay. Period, poo. Period. I hope y'all can see that. I hope that's not backwards. It probably is. Last one. I understand everyone is their own spirit and has their own divine path. My role is to tune into my divinity so others can tune into theirs. Oh, Virgo. Go off, I guess. All right. That is your September reading. Um, still getting adjusted here in New York. I'm going to do my best to get this stuff out to you guys. 
try to do some more weeklies and things like that, uh, put out more content. But I appreciate you, Virgo, so, so much. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you can stay up to date on when I post the videos. I love you, Virgo, so, so much. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, all the things. I even have a Facebook page, okay? I love you, Virgo, and remember, you mystical MFers, we are magic and we are one. Ashe.